Hi, this is Lee, and W1LWT in this great state of Maine, Lisbon Falls. And uh, today is January 2nd, it's on a Saturday. It is snowing, like the Dickens out here. We already got about a foot of snow building up from the wind blowing and piling it up and drifts and everything. But I got to walk down to the portable camper and I got to set up my APRS station. Now, APRS stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System. On the market, in the commercial market, you've probably seen the advertisements for these like that. And they're called Spot, okay? And the Spot is a uh, item that uh, you can use for skiing, backpacking, boating. And if you get lost or you need help, there's a button called 911 and they'll track you right down. This works with the satellite system and GPS. Also another button to let people know with a little text message by push up a button that you're okay, this is where you're located, but I'm okay. And uh, so that's a little handy item to have. We also have the same thing that's uh, built in ham radio, one of the things that we like to play with, which is called APRS. And you've probably seen it on the web already. You might have already read the book. Everybody sets it up to their needs in different ways. I'm using a basic system, which is uh, offered by Bionics.com, uh, and they have what they call the Tiny Tracker. I love the little system. And then they also have a Tiny Tracker with a, a built in little transmitter of 200 milliwatts. How much do you need for power? Depending what you do. I've been using the 200 milliwatt one for almost five years. Well, four to five years on different walkie-talkies until they came out with an all-compact one. And uh, the compact one has everything you need. All you need is a 9-volt battery, a GPS unit, something like a, 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 an e trax a basic e trax that you can pick up from a yard sale or uh, on the Internet or eBay, whatever it may be. This one here goes for about 149 bucks. Used probably about 80. Uh, there's another e tracks which is yellow. This is the green one. And uh, so I'm going to swap it out down there. Uh, I like to swap my equipment around to make sure that they're updated and they're usable at different times. So we're going to walk on over here. And to, like I mentioned, it is snowing. And you can see that in the background. APRS, I use it a lot. I am a snowshoer. I am a skier. Used to be downhill, but uh, I've kind of got away from downhill and gone with uh, more of a cross-country skier now. Snowshoeing, I'm not into running thing. But what I do like to do in the past and the present is to uh, get on the snowshoes and just hike and have a lot of fun. Also, in my job, I sometimes have to take the snowshoes to get to the back in the woods to get to jobs to got to do with the backpack and tools because I can't get there by driving and I love that so uh, yeah we're almost down here at the camper now a little while ago I made another video showing all my antennas down here and some of the basic layouts I have just to let you know of hand not bragging, just showing you a, a rough outline, what I, outline of what I have. I have uh, well over uh, 17 antennas. Uh, HF antennas, VHF antennas, UHF antennas, dishes, a little of everything. My hobby in ham radio, I like to do a little of everything. And when I get bored with one part of the project, I move to another project. And... Uh, in the past, I've done balloon projects. I'm going to do another one coming up here in the future. Now, here at the camper, you'll see this table. Outline of uh, a portable tent. And that's what we use throughout the summer to uh, do like field day and other events like that. Okay. And now we're in the camper here. And hopefully... With all the light that we have, which is not very much, that we can uh, probably do something here to get it all set up with. So I'm going to leave this as part one. That's the table. That's the equipment that you see on the table. And uh, 
For EPRS, what do I have right here? There's the uh, E-Tracks like I was showing you earlier, but that's the yellow version. That's about a $99 brand, uh, dollar brand new one. Uh, used one, you can get them for about 40 to 50 bucks or cheaper. And then my AC power supply that goes from 12 volts down to 9 volts. And uh, that's what I'm going to be setting up. And this happens to be the Bionics uh, transmitter unit that I just set on the table. That's a small portable one that all you have to hook up is an antenna, GPS, power, and you're ready to be tracked. And this one here is all hooked up to my batteries that I have on uh, storage. And uh, there's the 12-volt uh, battery that I use. There's the power supply right there. And I keep those batteries uh, trickle charging all winter long. And everything I do for ham radio is all tied into deep cell marine batteries and also a lawn battery, which is right there on the floor next to it. I like portable uh, equipment. I like setups of being portable. That's the fun part of ham radio for me. For the reason, you never know when a situation might arise and Radio Emergency Association communicators are going to be the ones out there communicating between hospitals, the police force, the fire departments, um, public services to communicate through them to other services through ham operators. Uh, as ham operators, we're the last on the front. We have many frequencies. We have a lot of equipment. We do a lot of emergency preparation, and we do it at no cost because that's amateur radio. And that's a couple of the best I'm showing in the area. My backup computer for down here when we're doing field days. I have this area all set up that uh, during emergency uh, practicing, we have uh, uh, antenna tuners. We have extra antennas in the back of the room back there. You'll see the HF. Uh, I threw everything in here from the last snowstorm. I haven't sorted it out. But uh, as you can see, we have uh, ammo cans that has um, equipment in each single one. We have tripods. We have coaxes. We have other antennas all stored in here. And this is how we practice to be ready when the real thing hits. Now, us ham operators are going to be out there, so when you see us, and you're interested in ham radio, and you're not an operator yet, but you might have an interest, talk to us. Any of us would be glad to help you out and to get you started. So, uh, I hope I showed you a little bit today, and like I mentioned, I'm going to set up the APRS station. This is W1LWT. Look it up. Go to www findyou.com that's f-i-n-d-u dot com type in now you go scroll down okay about towards the halfway down the page and pick the first URL click on that type in my call sign whiskey one Lima whiskey tango dash one and you'll see right where I am located in the state of Maine and also, I'll put announcements out on my Yahoo group at yahoo.com uh, yahoo with Whiskey One Lima, Whiskey Tango, on different projects I'm doing. Check it out. I like to share my projects. W1LWT is cold. I'm going to finish the job. I'm going to go in the house, and I'm out of here. Take care, 73s.